Stay black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Your ancestors have been through slavery, reconstruction, all types of Jim Crow, all types of red line, all types of racist laws to try to hold you back from achieving. Still we rise, still we achieve, still we the apple of the world's eye. Everybody from the dice is trying to come here. Black people alone in America have the 15th greatest economy in the world. Of course, America is the number one economy. Today is going to be lifestyle. Um, I'll give you a definition of a lifestyle. It's um, the way in which a person or group lives. I'll give you a definition of routine. A sequence of actions regularly followed. A fixed program. Okay. So give you some 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 uh, information uh, concerning lifestyle. Start off with it says, a routine is a road to where you want to be. Birth one new routine a week. Health, Bible, or planning. A routine is a road to where you want to be. You, you can birth a new one in 21 days. A routine is creating your, your future. Blessing is not an experience. Blessing is a lifestyle. Anything you endure will continue. Abuse, dishonor. Do the right thing. They are the great things. Find three things that inspire you. Keep them in front of you all day long. Pictures, songs, whatever it is. Do not love back. Love first. Make it a lifestyle. Journal every day. Something you learn, something you love, something that makes you laugh. Because we tend to forget things a lot uh, easier than we remember things. So if you journal it, you can always bring it back to your remembrance at any particular time. Routine again. Back to that word routine, right? Is the road to where you want to go. Stop waiting for the disinterested to rush to your aid. Happen to yourself. That means make it happen for yourself. Stop wanting somebody else to come and, and be with you. Don't, don't, don't think you need somebody with you to accomplish certain tasks. Some tasks you can accomplish all by yourself. So, um, lifestyle, man. My thing with lifestyle is that some people's lifestyle are reckless, you know. Lifestyle is a routine. Routine is just a habit. It becomes a part of you. So, the better you make your routine, the better your habits become. So, if you're looking to like, um, I'm talking about black America here, right? The difference between black America and white America. We know that 90% of black Americans get locked up because of drugs. We know the white people use more drugs than, than black people do, but they tend not to get locked up for it. They tend to get off for it. They tend not to be profiled for it. They tend not to be stopped for it. Okay, so if you know that, and part of your lifestyle is dealing with drugs, well, you want to just associate with drugs. You want to not use them anymore because why use something that's going to cause you consequences that the general public is not going to get. Why do you want to be locked up? Why do you want to be taken away from your family? Don't use them. Stay away from them. That means the income that's deriving from the drugs, you put it in your pocket. Put it in your bank account. Have yourself a, a self-imposed drug bank account. When you put in your money that you were spending that, you put it in the bank account. Um, say some people like to go to bars. They like to carouse around a lot of people, drink and serve. You know, drinks can be $12, $20, a glass of drink. You know, you can go to a liquor store and buy a, a bottle of liquor. Mix your own drinks. I mean, don't come home and become a drug addict. But if you, if you don't associate, say you spend $125 a weekend spending going to the bar. Well, say you didn't do that. Say you saved $125, maybe you only spend $30 going to a liquor store buying a certain thing. Then you drink it at, at moderation, and then you take that money and put that liquor money into another bank account. So you now you got your drug bank account, you got your liquor bank account. So how about you go to those hookah bars where you're smoking and all that kind of mess and all that? Take the money that you're not doing that. Maybe stop smoking all the gas and it's so horrible for your lungs. Take your hookah bar money. Your, Put that in a bank account, right? Say you say you say you're gambling at the casino, you're gambling at the lotteries, you're gambling those type of things. What if what your budget is at, at a gambling? Because more likely you're gonna lose, more likely the house wins. If you're lucky, you win. Great man. You won the lucky few. But bottom line, you'll save more money if you're gambling a hundred dollars a week, fifty dollars a week, twenty four dollars a week. And you put that in the bank. Let that pile up over a year's period of time. That's guaranteed money that you're gonna have in your bank. Not a guess, not a hope, you know. 25 times 52 weeks, you already know what's going to be in, your, in the bank account. We know bank accounts don't incur a lot of interest, but this is a safe place to put it. You spend it, it goes someplace else. So you change your lifestyle, you change your routines, you change your mindset. 
And all the stuff about diet, it's, it's big, big business, diet, all these kind of foods. Let me tell you the most important thing about diet, which I learned in my life, right? That's all you got to do. Eat anything you want to eat until 9 o'clock at night. After 9 o'clock at night, don't eat anything else until 8 o'clock the next morning, right? Before you go to bed, drink about a quart and a half of water and go to sleep. Try to get in the bed, try, try to make a routine of going to sleep early, man. Getting in the bed at 9 o'clock and sleeping all that way through. First, it's going to be kind of hard because your body used to being woke and running around. Then you're going to sleep all the way through it. And while you're sleeping, your body's burning up all this excess fat. You'll notice when you get up in the morning and you go to urination, your urination will be a darker color because the body has eaten all that fat up and put it out to your system. So when you urinate out, it comes out that way, that's fat. Sometimes it'll come out in the waist, the other part. So all these fats, all these diets, all this crazy exercise, and man, just do that. Do that alone, it's gonna drop so much, so much weight, you're crazy, it's gonna make you healthy. You know it's gonna make you healthy because your body is recuperating better, you're getting more sleep, this is all that fat. You're not going to strange physical exercises, you're not de denying yourself everything you want to eat, so I can't eat, eat cake, I can't eat ice cream, I can't eat candy, I can't eat, you know, you're, you're denying yourself. Life's too short to be denying yourself. It's a mental process. So that's like a, that's like a fast, what, a 10 hour, 10 hour fast, maybe longer, you're not eating. So, you know. Maybe a 12-hour fast, but most likely it's time. Some of you got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, stuff you know, so you get at least a 10-hour fast from 9 p.m. to whenever time you get up from 6, 7, 8. You got a long time when the body is fasting, but the body is actually eating. It's eating from its own resources, its own fat take, its own build-up. You know, like you have those fat spots in your body, love handles, or too big here, too big there. It's eating those parts. You might, feel, you might feel that part of your body jump a little bit because your body is drawing the fat from it. So you might feel it jumping, you might feel the muscles like, feel like vibrating a little bit. That's the fat being snatched from your body needs. You know, more likely your muscles gonna consume that because muscles gonna consume fat. So your body look more lean, more defined, and everything else. So just think about that, man. So lifestyle changes a whole lot of things. So uh, look, stay black in America. Stay away from the trouble. Stay away from things to get to get black people locked up, man. Stay away from it. Just run away from it. And those things you can save your money on, that's save your money out of the air. That stuff you normally do or have, you'll save money out of that. So. Uh, Stay black in America. Don't go anywhere. Great country world for black men or black women. Don't believe the hype. Everybody from the diaspora has come here. You heard lately 100,000 Ukrainians have come here. You know, you had the Mexicans and Haitians at the border in the Central America, all I'm trying to get into America. So nobody telling you to go somewhere else. I guess they want to save some land. Like somebody want to save, save the, 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 you say, say the Golden Gate Bridge or say the Manhattan Bridge is a line. Once you go somewhere else, man, but stay here. It's the place where you're going to achieve, the place where you're going to rise, it's the place where your dreams are going to come, come true. Remember, pursuit of your happiness. Gain it. Bye.